Currently, carbon fiber is used for various structural applications such as airplane wings and fuselages, windmill blades, high-performance vehicles, and sporting goods. Carbon fiber composites make these structures much lighter and stronger than structures made from other materials such as metals. Carbon fibers can be made from polyacrylonitrile polymeric fiber that we call the precursor fiber. For the first step of processing, polyacrylonitrile polymer is dissolved in an organic solvent such as DMF, DMAC, or DMSO. While we are dissolving the polymer, we can add carbon nanotubes. Carbon nanotubes are a recently developed tubular shaped carbon nanostructure. The key challenge for this step is to disperse carbon nanotubes uniformly in the polymer solution. Once we prepare the polymer carbon nanotube solution, the prepared solution will then be transferred to the spinning machine. In the second lab, the transferred solution will be spun into fiber. In the spin head setup, we have a spinneret. The one shown here has 100 holes. The solution will be extruded through this spinneret and form a continuous fiber. The aspun fiber needs to go through a coagulation bath. The coagulation medium will solidify the aspun fiber. At the end of the spinning machine, a high-speed winder will take up the fiber. In order to develop the fiber structure, and as a final processing step of precursor fiber, the wound fiber in the spinning machine will be further drawn in the drawing lab. The fiber will be unwound and drawn using different sets of Godet rollers as shown. And each set of rollers can be run at different operating speeds to stretch the fibers. During the drawing step, fibers will go through various baths and heated rolls for stretching and drying. The drawn fiber will also be wound on spools as shown. The strength and modulus of the precursor fiber is not high enough for structural applications. However, the carbonization process in the next lab will convert the polymeric fiber into carbon structure. As a result, the carbon fiber will have both high strength and modulus. This is the carbonization lab where the polymeric fiber is converted into carbon fiber. Various heat treatment processes are involved such as oxidation, low temperature carbonization, and high temperature carbonization under various tension and temperature conditions. These are the carbon fibers converted from the polymeric precursor fiber.